back to the YouTube channel. I don't know how you felt about my earlier video, but um, we're going to refresh. We went to pick these bits up from Blazer Limited. I'm not going to talk about these today, but all I'll say is that what's in there has a relationship with this, which I'll go through at a later stage and we'll do a video. It's a tool that I'll be making and I'll go through with you. We'll go through the process of making that. But today, the subject is all nuts are not created equally and after getting an advert on the front of one of my videos i got a little surprise there was a company which i wasn't aware of before who supply hobbyists supply just basically the general public and up to formula one teams and, and car manufacturers and there was an advert for their website so i had a look at the nuts and bolts and stuff looked good quality the problem is you can buy stuff on ebay but sometimes as i've found out they say it's this and that and i've I had bolts turn up and nuts turn up. I had some shallow nuts turn up and some of them were split before I even put them on. So being able to find a source, reliable nuts and bolts, I think is a little bit of peace of mind. And the other issue I sometimes have is you order from somebody, you pay your money and then you hear nothing and you just hope the stuff's gonna turn up. There's no accountability, there's no tracking. So the first thing that surprised me, was got an email with a, a PDF on a document saying that everything had been packed, a certificate of conformity to say everything had been packed to their standards, the quantities and everything, and the order was complete. Uh, I then got an email with a link from a shipping company that gave me the option to change the delivery date, change where it was delivered to, leave it with a neighbour, collect from depot, which actually I thought if I made an option it would probably take a day or so to the option to go through. I was actually away when the, the parcel was being supposed to be delivered so I clicked on deliver to neighbour and the system was updated and I got back and it had been left with my neighbour safe and sound which for me when you're spending money on parts I think it's quite uh, important. So I will try and open the box with as little fuss as possible. I should have put my phone on silent. But you live and learn, don't you? Alright, good quality box. Some stickers, which is always nice. And everything nicely secured. There's even a dummy box inside. Yep, I think that's a dummy box, which meant that the stuff was secure in there and probably, yeah, empty box. Always handy, keep bits of stuff stored in. Nicely packaged, tidy. Shows that some care's gone into it. Not just been thrown together in a jiffy bag and stuck in the post. Here we go, certificate of conformity, reference number, invoice for all the parts. Loads of bubble bits, which now will be fun. Spend a week chasing these around the shed. But again, attention to detail. Let's have a look, A4 stainless steel. So anyway, don't excuse me, I have to stop there. Not my favorite friends, but I respect that they're in the box. Stopped everything rattling around and getting damaged or even the box that came in getting burst. If any of you out there are hobbyists or you've worked in engineering, you'll know it's getting harder and harder to get quality components. The market's been flooded with, let's say, cheap quality. I loosely use the word quality. Some of the nuts and bolts, as I say. You can get stuff from your hardware store, or should I say your local supermarket type DIY place. What you can't get is specials like these. They're a shallow head, star or torque drive, six point, eight mil, M8. You don't normally get those off the shelf. In stainless, again, a lot of places just don't carry it anymore. They can get it here, but it's a special order. All their stuff seems to be next day or day after if they haven't got it in stock. All nicely packaged, all labelled. Again, I've ordered stuff, I've ordered online sources, and I've ordered stuff that's been BA and metric, and then it's just all arrived in bags. And you have to go through it and figure out which is your BA bolts and which is your metric bolts. So yeah, mightily impressed with the quality, mightily impressed with the detail of care that's been taken over them. If you've seen the video, the animation of the engine, you'll probably easily be able to work out where these are planned to go, but I'm sure with time you will get familiar with where they go because when engines are under development, they normally come apart two or three times just to make sure that nothing's broken inside. Again, nuts, that there is 
to help them key when they're screwed down, tighten down, they, they get a grip. You don't need to put, well you can put a spring washer or an anti-vibration washer in, but they just help along with the anti-vibration washers. It's a bit of a belt and brace situation, which they are in here, but I can't find it at the moment. Very impressed, quality through and through. If you want to have a look for them, it's the ACCU group. Again, there'll probably be a link suddenly appear at the top of the screen or at least in the description at the bottom. I'm mightily pleased I've found the company. I've spoke to a couple of the staff, they're really helpful. I'm hoping to uh, look forward to using these, as daft as it sounds, but if you work in an environment where it matters, pay a little bit more. But saying that, the cost, I think the M6 stainless A4, I think they worked out, the 30 mils were about 24 p each. That's nothing really. You can go and pay that for some cheap ones from your local uh, hardware superstore. So anyway, that's that out. We're in the shed. This is where everything's going to come and be put together. Um, just, just really, this is the little home that I've got now that things are going to be built in and hopefully share the experience with yourselves. Hopefully you'll be spending a bit more time in here. If you're interested in building an engine yourself, have a look at the links below. Again, probably put a link up on the the screen to the jet and turbine owners forum. People on there will help you through the right direction of building your first engine, help you get it working, and then if you want to go on and put it in a vehicle, help you as much as we can. So until the next video, which I hopefully will be, as I say, the bits we picked up from Laser today, we'll be doing an unboxing of these uh, and then making the tool, and uh, we'll uh, just keep making videos. Let me know what you think. If you like what we're doing, you know the score, I'm sure. Like the video, share it, subscribe to my channel and follow. For now, thanks very much. Happy hobbyist.